friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in the middle of filming three looks with three different palettes and I just got a bunch of new face stuff in from some different brands I've wanted to try. So I thought in the midst of that I should film a full face with some new products. Some of these are oldies but goodies and I just needed a different shade. So the first thing I'm going to use today is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation up to 24 hour wear. I got this in the shade 50CG during the Sephora VIB sale. I loved this foundation last summer I think is when I picked it up and I totally winged my shade so I bought the shade 60CG and that worked perfectly for me in the summertime but I've definitely lightened up over the winter and spring so I thought let me try and get a different shade because I'm always on the hunt for my favorite foundation and I figured let me grab Urban Decay because I really really enjoyed this foundation so so much last year. I even put it in my favorites video of 2019. I featured this as one of my favorite foundations of 2019. So I'm really excited because I haven't really loved an Urban Decay foundation in a hot second and I'm so excited that I have a lighter color so I can wear this until I get a little more tan and I really like this foundation because I think it basically gives me full coverage, um, but I love that it feels like I don't have a foundation on, which is really exciting to me. And I've just been like, I've always been such a full coverage person, um, so it was nice to find something that was good coverage, lasted all day long, which is something I love because of my work hours. I'm always, you know, leaving the house super early and... I have my makeup on usually all day long up until I take a shower and go to bed. So I love having something that can last all day long. And um, usually when we're not in quarantine, I try to get, you know, a facial ever so often. And I feel like I haven't done that in a while and my skin is really feeling it. Also, I am off birth control now, so I feel like, of course, the usual flare-ups are happening. I haven't experienced this in so, so long, so it's definitely new to me, but if you guys look at my face, I'm really, like, breaking out on my forehead over here, so if you guys have any, you know, hormonal acne recommendations. I'm definitely open to suggestions. Usually the Murad cleanser works really great for me, but I don't know guys. We're on different times now. Things are so different, you know what I mean? So anyway, I really like this foundation. It's not anything new, but I haven't talked about it on my channel in some time, so Figured I'd mention it to you guys. Next thing I'm really excited to try is the Kosas Super Creamy Bright Concealer. And I bought it in the shade 07. I really don't need a concealer right now. But I was so curious about this brand because everyone's been talking about it and getting it in PR and this, that, and the other thing. So they are a clean beauty brand at Sephora. And um, I was just curious to see... Um, what it was about and try out the clean beauty trend and see what I thought of the products if they were different from you know my daily stuff that I usually use and this concealer is supposed to be really lightweight a lot of people that reviewed it from the reviews I saw said it's very yellow toned so I'm really excited because I usually like that a lot uh, being tan it's fun to have yellow tone things because a lot of things like tend to lean pink usually for you know foundations and stuff like that so I'm excited to see if that works I really like how that blended into my under eye and now I'll do this side I usually use the brush with my NARS concealer so that's why I'm using it today but maybe I should try the sponge I like how hydrating it seems like it's not like making my under eyes look cakey or anything like that which is great and then I suppose I haven't talked about this powder with you guys but I did pick this up this is a Pat McGrath powder 
um, for under eyes. This came out with her concealer. I really like it. It's very finely milled. I'm just using this big fluffy elf brush and I put this all over my face just to set it. I probably shouldn't have done that though because I'm supposed to be testing out some cream products next but oh well it is what it is. So the next thing I picked up is this guy. This is the Kosas Moisture Bake Bronzer in the shade Medium. This just sounded so delicious, you guys. I could not help myself at all. Basically, it says this is a clean shea butter bronzer giving a silky smooth finish, feels weightless on the skin, and blends effortlessly for an instant healthy glow. Baked in Italy. <laughs> so I was just like, uh, yes, give me all the bronzers. Look at this packaging. It's so beautiful. And... Uh, Look at that baked bronzer. Oh, it looks so delicious. Yummy. Oh, it has it has a light, like, very natural smell. Okay, so I needed to grab a clean bronzer brush just so I could see what this was like. I really like this brush. This is the Morphe M527. Now, I did see Michelle use these, and she said they're very powdery, so I just wanted to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Look at that color. That's so nice. It's so pretty. I was worried because I was like, I always, I talked about this, I think in another video, but I said I always buy the wrong shade of bronzer. I always buy the, like the very red tone bronzers. And I realized with the Samantha March bronzer that I don't need to buy a tan, like a dark bronzer just cause I'm like dark. Her, you know, I'm not like the deepest shade, but I'm pretty tan, so um, I always felt like I was buying the wrong color, and I have all these like really red tone bronzers, and I think I can just really pull off a more neutral bronzer, so oh, do you guys see that glow? It's so beautiful. Yes, I love so so much so that's really exciting okay and then next i picked up the color and light creme blush and highlighter in the shade helios so i watched somebody's review on kosas it's a channel i'm subscribed to she does like the flat lay format if i can find that video i'll link it for you guys because it's so informative she went through the whole kosas line and she explained to me which i could not figure out just looking at Sephora or Kosas, I think mostly Sephora, that they have a high intensity version of all their creme products. So I snagged this up. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I want to swatch it, but I don't want to swatch it. I don't want to put my fingers in it and wreck it. So I'm going to use that as my blush. Okay, so for blush, I'm going to try this guy. This is a Real Techniques brush, and I'm just going to dip this in there. Oh, that's so pretty. Living my best life. Living my best life. Hopefully this is getting posted before the Sephora sale ends. So if you guys want to snag some of these products up, you sure can. <laughs> and I also grabbed a bunch of products from Tower... 28. I don't know why I feel like blush draping all of a sudden because my friends Michelle and Britt Clark rave about them So I did buy a bunch of Tower 28 products as well and when those come in I will definitely film a Like a try on for you guys, but oh my god, this is so pretty. I did go a little overboard I probably wouldn't go this overboard just going somewhere But it's okay because we're just playing with makeup at home. So Love. Okay, so I grabbed a, another Real Techniques brush to try the cream highlighter. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Can't wait to wear this to work tomorrow. I'm filming after work. I didn't wear makeup to work today because I ran out of time to get ready. Ooh, I feel like a dewy queen right now. Okay, guys, so I do have one more little Kosas product. This is a sample of their lip in rose water. I think they have two different lip formulas, but I just got this as a quick little sample. And I really like this color. I'm happy I got to, like, sample it, but it's definitely not something I would, like, 
run out and buy right away because I have so many lip colors and then I did get this very recently this is the flesh six lip gloss from Pat McGrath if you guys have been following my channel for some time you know Pat McGrath makes my favoriteest lip gloss formula so I'm so happy I was able to snag that on sale so guys here is the final look what do you guys think I know the blush is a little bit intimidating I probably tone it down just a tish if I was to go out in this look but I'm actually not going anywhere so I am so happy I got to experiment and see if I could build it up it has dried down it doesn't feel sticky or anything like that which is excellent and then if you guys are curious about what's on my eyes that video should already be up so I will try and remember to link it in the description box down below so you guys can find it Quick little roundup of my thoughts. I really like everything I tried so far. I really like how glowy and dewy my face looks. I'd probably go a little bit more neutral or like a little bit less like metallic on the eyes wearing all these like cream products. I think I would have preferred to go for like a more bronze tone look or use maybe like my Corderosa palette. But like I said, I'm in the middle of filming three looks with three palettes. So that's why I have this very dramatic eye look on so hopefully you guys don't mind but yeah the bronzer was great I love the compact I love the bronzer not sure yet about how I feel with the concealer but you know I'm gonna have to wear it some more to tell you guys and yeah I'm so pumped to try some of these new clean beauty brands and try some cream products I think they're gonna be so much fun for spring and summertime so let me know what you've been eyeing in the clean beauty section at Sephora and I will catch you guys in my next video soon. Bye guys!